All right, this video is intended to show a little bit of stress testing I like to do after installing Windows 7 on an ASRock Z68 Extreme for motherboard. Let me show you around a little to start. So we're on Windows 7, Service Pack 2, 64-bit. Uh, you'll notice the ASRock missed those two fields being filled in, but anyhow, it's a Core 7, Core i7 2600 CPU, not the 2600K. Um, P160 bias from July 12th, about a week ago. Um, 16 gig of RAM. All right, so that's a look at the system. What are the tools? So the tools. Those are the two tools I'm just going to demonstrate. I just want to show you this machine is uh, very simple. Uh, some stuff that came from ASRock for device driver support uh, has been installed. Very little. Um, Nothing going on in the background. I haven't even done Windows Update. This is pretty much a fresh install of Windows 7. You'll see Device Manager is uh, clean. No big issues. I do have a RAID controller in there. Uh, the focus of this test is to stress test a little bit. Um, quick and easy. I don't need to boot off a boot CD. I can um, just run this easily from Windows. So what I run is Core Temp and I uh, tend to prefer Fahrenheit. So you'll see it's got uh, not a lot of settings. And you'll see uh, rather cool operating temperatures. This is a Coarse Air H60 cooling solution right now on the Core i7. So let's minimize that. All right, next, CPU burning. I could run that eight times, or I can just do a, a script I wrote, which does it for me. So let me show you that. So we run CPU burning eight times. So let's fire that up. All right, next, we want Task Manager, so that we can point to all of those instances, right-click, and tile them. All right. Now... We set them up. Uh, yeah, command line might be make more sense, but it really doesn't take that long to set this up. I want to do the maximum abuse of my CPU possible, so I'm putting on that option. All right, so you'll see as I bring the um, stress online here to the CPU, you'll watch the cores begin to get hit. All right, so now all the CPU cores are being stressed. <clears throat> you see the temperature rising slightly. Um, it rises fairly quickly and stabilizes around a 111 Fahrenheit, as high as I've seen it going, even if I leave this running for quite a while. So obviously the cooling solution is working quite well on this particular system. So that's just something I like to do to make sure I got the thermal paste um, done right, as I've replaced this motherboard several times over the last couple of months. Um, yeah, after installing uh, sticking windows on there quick, um, you know, this helps me reassure myself I've got it right. Uh, I realize there are many other tools. Um, for instance, I'm using CoreTemp 0.99.8. Using CPU burn in 101. These are old tools I'm just used to. I know there are boot media and other ways, uh, mem tests and other stress tests I could be doing to exercise the entire system. This is just something I do again with a focus on maximum heat generation. Uh, I found on laptops with uh, issues, this will really bring them down in a hurry. That's kind of when I get used to doing this on newer systems to make sure they're okay or recently repaired systems. Hopefully, you found this video of use. Thank you for watching.